Hey, I just wanted to say um, that I wish all of you a really Merry Christmas and um, I'm going to have a little look at um, what guidance we've got from Spirit. So, um, over the Christmas period, um, I want you to think about, um, you know, self-care and how much, you know, like even though you love the people in your life, I want you and invite you to um, really take a good look at, you know, how you're treating yourself. Um, because on the Twin Flame journey, um, you know, the way you treat self is the reason why you're able to attract your flame to you. And so I just wanted to get a little message from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Um, even though I'm sure a lot of Divine Masculines will be coming in and saying, you know, hello over the Christmas period. So it looks like the message is here. So just bear with me as I get the cards ready. I'm just going to use a second deck, um, whoa, to clarify, <laughs> that was the emperor that just flew out of the deck, so that's the, um, for me, that's your, you know, the, um, who's your daddy card, so it's like, you know, divine masculine wants to be in control, um, but in that good kind of way where he, um, dominates divine feminine, um, you know, perhaps in the bedroom, perhaps in, you know, the way he puts his love across. Um, so it's kind of in that really sexy way. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> so we've got a lot of cards coming through and... Okay, so the bottom of the deck, let's take a look at those first. So at the bottom of the first deck, we've got this, um, you know, Queen of Swords in Reverse. So the Queen of Swords in Reverse is, you know, saying what you want to say with clarity and, you know, not beating around the bush, making sure that um, maybe not beating around the bush is, is an expression um, that not everyone knows, but, you know, it's like that no, um, there's no mistake about it. I'm telling you my truth. And so then on the bottom of the other deck, we've got the hangman in reverse. And so the hangman in reverse is saying that divine masculine is coming out of that situation where he feels stuck. So he... You know, he's kind of feeling though, as though he wants to break out of that scenario and come forward. Um, so he's seeing Divine Feminine right now as the Queen of Cups. So she's nurturing, she's kind, she's loving. And, you know, someone who can heal this you know, broken heart or this feeling of not having, you know, someone to take care of him, you know, on a mental, emotional and physical um, way. So usually I would see um, the Three of Swords as something that is, you know, heartbreak. But together with the Queen of Cups, it's like you know, this nurturing energy that makes me feel as though Divine Masculine feels secure with her. There is no broken heartedness here. And so then we have the Lovers in Reverse with the Knight of Cups. So 
you know, in the past, in the recent past, he's made a decision that he's coming forward to Divine Feminine with absolute love. This is a man on a mission. This is a man who is completely in love. And the next card we have is the chariot in reverse, which states that he wants to come forward and travel to Divine Feminine. And he knows that this is being, you know, tempered or, um, you know, balanced by the angelic realm. He feels very strongly that Divine Feminine is a part of this, you know, an angel as well. There's a double meaning here. And then we have the emotions being the water down below. And then the alchemy of Archangel Michael helping this situation along. So that's a really beautiful card. Anytime we get angels in the deck, that's really good. So, you know, many divine masculines have enough abundance. They have enough richness in their life. You know, they've gained this in the past already. You know, they have a good job. They have enough. And they've gone within as well in the recent past and they've realized that the only thing they're lacking is this you know necessary coming together you know this childlike innocence that comes along when when you meet your twin so you know they've come out of this sense of feeling depressed and you know, any form of sleepless nights has been because they know this is lacking. But now they know that it's not lacking any longer. And so they've come into, you know, watching this grow. Not only, you know, are they watching their own financial um, abundance grow, but they're also watching, you know, the the twin flame journey grow because you know pentacles also represent venus um the the queen of pentacles is represented by venus which is the goddess and so he's watching this grow and again he's holding on to her he's holding on to divine feminine here and this can also be a phallic symbol so representing you know, that sexual need to be with her. And then we also have the solar plexus energy and the root chakra energy, which is, you know, a feeling of groundedness, a feeling of power, you know. And then we had the emperor, which flew out of the deck earlier. So all of this combined, you know, he knows that he wants to come in and he's looking to see now how he can make this happen. Wow, so they're really beautiful messages um, from Divine Masculine. And I want to just tell you what he's not saying. Let's see if we can find out what he's not saying. So I've got, I've got my, my secret deck, my sneaky deck. What isn't he saying? There we go. Okay, so recently he's gone through a transformation, some sort of, um, you know, this feeling of, you know, going through that dark night of the soul feeling and then he's come out the other end. He knows the cycle hasn't quite finished yet, but the end of burden has happened. And... He knows that Divine Feminine is his complete wish fulfillment. And in fact, he's getting, or he has gotten, because this is a past energy, he has got the green light from the universe. It's go time. It's time to move forward. We have the Two of Cups here as well in reverse. He knows who his love is. And then we have the Queen of Swords. He wants to say this over and over again even though he may have stated it already in the past so that's really good um 
So we'll get some love messages now and just see what Divine Masculine wants to say to Divine Feminine. Wow, okay. So quite a few just popped up. <laughs> These are from the um, High Priestess 1111 cards. You are the glow that lights up my life. You are the best thing that happened to me in a long time. I don't care how hard being together is. Nothing is, sorry, nothing is worse than being apart. You mean more to me than you know. And for some divine masculines, I am struggling to find the right words to say to you. But that shouldn't last for too long. They should be coming in soon. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, then I wish you a great day or night, wherever you are. And um, please like, subscribe, share, um, and feel free to comment below on you know anything you like. And if you want to reach out to me uh, for a private reading, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, and I'll try and upload more videos more often. Thanks, guys. Bye.